Hello everybody and welcome to the Alien vs Predator Galaxy YouTube channel. This is Aaron Percival aka Corporal Hicks and joining me as always are Adam Zeller aka Ridgetop. Eric Adams aka Xenomorphine. And we're back for another motion tracker video to talk about probably the, I don't want to say surprise news because I was hoping slash expecting something like this to drop on Alien Day like it did, but probably the biggest piece. Uh, that's came out and that is a well i'm gonna hope we don't go a thousand minutes uh talking over this one image uh which we've <laughs> been uh known to do in the past shall we say but yeah we're gonna be talking about the uh alien day image that fede alvarez shared from the set of alien romulus so shall we get into it boys mm -hmm. there, there it is Surprise what we, what face So yeah, it was cool to finally see something from the set, you know, we can see a really awesome, really alien looking practical set there. And um, even though we had we had known this was in production, this was filming, it's nice to finally just see something from the set that is, mm -hmm. that is really showing that, that this is filming right now. Yeah. So it was it was about what I was expecting. It was just a nice little behind the scenes that didn't show off too much, you know, in the same vein as the tease of the Covenant patch that we got for Covenant on Alien Day a thousand years ago. But there's actually a fair bit in this just to sort of um, nerd over a little bit. So like the Size first things I noticed, standard semiotic, semiotic. So it's the fir first thing I noticed was uh, Ron Cobb semiotic standard in this. So, you know, we've got the airlock there, which is that one, if I do remember. Um, reception, which to me implies this is a facility or a space station rather than um, the call. rather than a space ship, should we say. Yeah. And then further down, we also have genetic lab. genetic lab and cryo lab, I believe that one says. Yeah. So seeing the semiotics is always a very nice part because it means the the production design the set deck uh, or, or fede whoever's the one doing you know making these decisions knows enough about the background of the series to have gone straight to you know Cobb's semiotic standards and had them in there because it makes it feel a part of the world straight away and i love that but then the next bit, which is even more surprising, which was the second <laughs> thing I noticed and then absolutely geeked the hell out about, was this little nugget of Easter egg. The, the emergency alien... communication bo booth, which was also the save points for Alien Isolation. Alien Isolation, yeah. So Eric's probably there going, fucking game. Whereas me <laughs> no, and Adam are like, I, yes! No, I, I praise the presentation style. It's just the gameplay was glitchy. For me and a minority of others, that's all. You, you and three other people, yes. Yeah. But as as massive fans of isolation, you know, it's nice. It's nice and good. Uh, you haven't mentioned the the thing related to the face hugger, though. Did you notice the, the thing related to the face? Yeah, the I noticed the coloration. Oh yes, because you notice it's, it's darker. Much... It's very much like the unused super face hugger design mm -hmm. coloration. That yes. ADI did for Alien Three. Now it's clearly a normal conventional face. It hasn't got the got lengthy no fingernail tips. Yeah, but it's it's that sort of same black going into yellow thing, and I don't think that's a lighting issue. That looks deliberate. Yeah, so... it does look, it does look like painted. Yeah, I'd, I'd seen the same thing as well, Eric. Yeah, uh, but I like one of the first. You know, after going, ooh, that's kind of coloured like that. The, my immediate thought was, ah, uh, there's no web in there. And, uh, no, but it's it uh, doesn't look as armored. I don't know if it's deliberate, but it, it does make you wonder about some sort of related shenanigans going on there. Um, or it could is, just be is ADI involved? Do we know? Hmm? Uh, this is where I'm trying to remember Cause... what's been said. Yeah, uh, no, I, I, the the <laughs> official the studio the effect studio for Romulus hasn't been announced yet. No, but... yeah. I'm just wondering if they just took that kit because there's enough, um, you know, reference we, photos of it. There's even a model kit of it if they wanted to um, take it deliberately. But, I think yeah. the facehuggers in AVPR were a little darker than than standard. Well, they, when they yeah. were greenier, 
Yeah. So it could be coloration. It could be part of the lighting here too. If they just have a little spotlight, they're putting over that clapboard so you can you can see. I mean, it. I, th I think that looks deliberately black going into yellow to me. I don't think that's just lighting. So um, it could just be a preference thing, like with James Cameron doing the ridge hedge thing. But I mean, it looks nice. I say yeah. that suits that face. I go, that looks nice. Um, I will say it doesn't look like um, a, hero. a hero prop. Yeah, it looks too, a little obviously rubber. It like it could just be a. It's probably a thing a somebody prop. somebody on the production crew had that they just brought in. Who knows? But um, yeah, I think looks... I think it's going to be a stunt piece. I mean, yeah, the, 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 the pouches the are a little. Articulated. Yeah, the pouches are a little elongated too, rather than the rounded proper thing but um yeah it's uh interesting. and the uh clapper board here we can see the cinematographer's name in the top left uh gallo olivaris olivaris hopefully i'm i'm probably butchering that but um in the clapboard of course says happy alien day and the production is just alien no romulus yeah. or anything so yeah. um director fede alvarez and there's one last little detail. Like a Whalen Yutani. Um, the post aliens. Uh, Whalen Yutani logo. Well, the aliens. It looks, yeah. it looks good. I like how it's like subtle and kind of coming out of the, the wall like that, you know. Mm. Well, I don't know if that's because it's clearly like an emergency lighting situation with the red there. In, at least yeah. in that section of the corridor. So it could be when it's lit up, you see it. I'm pretty sure you can see the, the W is in yellow and the Y is in white there. So I think if you shone a flashlight over it, it would look classic. It's just that that's just, you know, there's not much lighting over there, that's all. And we yeah, see I'll, something with... What was um, that windows there as well? Yeah, with shutters. And we see something with wheels on the left. I wonder if that's just a piece of film. I think that's probably the film equipment, yeah. yeah. The isolation mm -hmm. fan in me was like, "Oh, it's a stretcher. It's like medical and isolation." <laughs> but like, no. I mean, it might. Be. It could ball. also. It could also be a, a wheeled trolley for like computer equipment and stuff, like Parker pushing something along. It could be anything. I think that's just could be yeah, film equipment, probably but, yeah. dolly or something. Nice, nice little bits of detail in there, just to mm -hmm. just to geek out over. Nothing massively um, detailed. That we can start digging into, of course, but it did. It was a lot better of a tease than I think the Covenant patch was a few years ago, because you know we, <laughs> we had all these little bits that we could be like, oh yeah. yeah. Didn't, didn't cool. they show off like the Covenant ship hallway as well, or they had like one shot of, um, not for Alien Day, no, of Catherine Waterson's character no, in no, the, that, the that, hallway that was or a, something. That was a promo but before Alien Day. Oh, they okay. had the um, engineer right, corridor right, should we say. was shown off as one of the first images. But... The, that that came out when they were doing all the press rounds. Yeah, but yeah, the, the, the up... first the first year was was the Covenant patch. Then the second year was when they did the show ins with um, the Neomorph attack, and there was another one. I can't remember. There was two clips. There was two clips from the film that were shown off in the Alien Day cinemas the, the year that it was coming out and of course they released the crossing the day of as well if i remember rightly yeah yeah but I was no, it's say a nice the, little tease i think it was good yeah i was going to say the the presence of a genetic lab in furs it might be a station too but then i remembered alien resurrection it, the whole thing was set on a spaceship that had a genetics lab so yeah yeah it was just nice to see this alien day the official channels share not only this but a lot of other stuff you know i remember when prey wrapped filming they showed the clapboard of of that and like yeah the final scene but all the the people who posted it like had to take it down you know because of who knows like the lawsuit or whatever so it's nice to see something like this teased by the director that's being shared on the official channels mm -hmm. yeah. definitely and is uh, this the first instance we've had of Disney doing anything Alien Day related since they took over? No, they they did like a post or two here and there in the okay. last couple of years for some like expanded universe material or merchandise or whatever. But this has been the most we've seen since 2019, mm. since before the merger. Yeah, I, I think the first year there was some stuff going out about like the Lannard stuff. I remember getting an email from the parks and 
rec. <laughs> Not parks and rec, but the, the parks and entertainment sort of email division of Disney about them um, for Alien Deck. But yeah, now th- this year was actually reasonably exciting. Um, there was, of course, the pre order trailer, which was a lot of cinematics for Dark Descent, which I'm really fucking looking forward to. Really looking forward to, to that one, um, which is coming out in just a couple of months, you know, June, June 20th, mm-hmm. I think it is. Not long to wait. So, as far as uh, Fede's movie goes, you know, probably by next Alien Day, we'll have either seen it or it'll be close out about to being then, seen. Yeah. yeah, that would be something if they release it on Alien Day next year, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. And the Aliens Expanded documentary has been announced for release on next Alien Day as well. Mm-hmm. Next year, which is cool. Um, any final thoughts on the Fede thing, uh, on the tease? No, it's just really cool to see. Cool to see mm-hmm. the set. Looking forward it's- to whatever they have in store for us. Definitely alien vibes to the picture, I think. Um, yeah. And I am... I'm optimistic about Fede's thing. You know, I really enjoyed Don't Breathe. I really enjoyed the yeah. Evil Dead uh, remake. Very intense, very tense films. And I think this is going to be a nice sort of um, return to that co- co- sort of feeling for Alien. You know, that tension, that slow burn kind of thing. So... Definitely looking forward to it. Happy to have seen the still, um, the image, and to have seen these little bits of geeky detail in there. Yeah. And also it gives us an insight as to the kind of lighting vibe that's probably going to be used, because I think this was a you know a functional, you know, during an actual scene, This is pro- the lighting has been set up for it. So I think this is how it's going to look. So that's um, it's nice to see the aesthetics there. Mm-hmm. All right, anything else then, gentlemen? No. Oh, we're all happy with that. Nice little one just to go over these. But, yeah, how is everybody else feeling about uh, Romulus? What did you think of this tease for Alien Day? And uh, did you have a good Alien Day? Yeah, let us know. Um, We had uh, plenty of fun with all the the tweets and the various bits and pieces coming out. And uh, I got to go see Alien and Aliens again in the cinema. Um, I took Chevy. It was his first time seeing Aliens on the big screen, which he uh, very much enjoyed. So, yeah, sound off in the comments. Let us know uh, what you did and um, how you're feeling about Alien Romulus. As always, you can check out the hub of our activity on avpgalaxy.net and we're on all the socials. So uh, head on over to your social platform of choice and give us a follow. We'll be AVP Galaxy or Alien vs. Predator Galaxy vs. as in VS. Dot. This has been Corporal Hicks. Rich Top. Xenomorphine. Signing off. <laughs>